Matt, thank you for coming down to Portman Road today to speak to us. Can you just tell us a little bit about your new role with the Trust and probably a proud moment for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, obviously, I think most people would recognise this as, as being my football club. I don't, I don't live too far away still, um, still just outside Colchester. Um, so to be invited onto the, onto the um, onto the board, a uh, trustee of the community trust, I think was a, you know, obviously. Um, yeah, a proud moment. Absolutely, it's, you know, to be associated with this football club, um, where I spent so many, you know, happy years really, and, and played lots of games. You know, it's, it's always lovely to be back. To be honest, I've been to the training ground this morning, um, met Paul Cook for the first time, and met his coaching staff and watched training. Yeah. Um, and then coming to the ground today, this afternoon, it's always nice to be home. How did it come about then? Who did you speak to, and, and when did you know this was an opportunity? Um, spoke to Mark Ashton, so we um, we had a couple of conversations. Came in, had a meeting with him here. Uh, went out for lunch, had a few, uh, you know chat, a few things over, and um, you know and he he, um, he asked me to be uh, a trustee of the board. So um, it, it, yeah, I was readily, happily, and uh, delighted to accept. Yeah, we speak about this being referred to as your club and that connection that you have. And do you see this as an opportunity to get that connection between the younger generation now and the next the next generation of supporters? Well, I think you know the, the, there's a great history to this football club. You know, you only have to look back, and you know when I was growing up, you know the the, the names just rolled off the tongue. Really, you knew exactly who was going to be playing in, in the team: Paul Cooper in goal, Terry Butcher, Russell Osman, George Burley, Mick Mills, John Walk, Muran, Tyson, Mariner, um, Gates, Brazil. You just you knew all the players, and um, and I think we had a, a successful period. You know, when I was playing here, we you know we had a good, some good times. Got promoted into the Premier League. Um, did well in the in, in the Premier League, particularly in that first season. Qualified for Europe and, and you know, played into Milan, etc. So we had some great moments here, and I think the youngsters can latch on to that. Yeah. And I think it's important now that the the first team here try and make their own history as well. You know, I, I think the opportunity's there. I think we've seen this some of the investment at the club, some of the players that have been brought in who potentially could have been playing the Championship. Here they are in League One. The ambitions now are to create a new history. The, the, you can't ever forget what's happened here at this club, and it's great to celebrate that. But at the same time, um, you know you want a, you want a new history as well, and you want the club to be successful on the pitch because that's the most important thing. If things are successful on the pitch, everything else looks after itself. Yeah. So it's important to engage the community, get them fully fully behind the the club, um, fully invested in the football club, and you know this this you just get a feeling that this, this is a place that's going to be going places in the next few few, few years. Yeah, as a new, like you say, a new chapter for the club, and you speak about on the pitch, do you see it as that opportunity off the pitch to say, well, now we've got to take the club forward again? Definitely. I mean, look, there was a period where, I mean, I, initially I got involved in the, in the community trust um, uh, and was a patron um, when it was associated with the club. Yeah. It got disbanded, mm. and that was a real shame, mm. you know, and, and um, fortunately, you know, that it, it's now been reintroduced. Um, and we're, we're in a very privileged position here. You know, the club is in the centre of, of Suffolk. It's, it's, um, you know, it's the only club, really, the, the biggest club um, around. And there's a big catchment area. Mm. And I think that's important that we engage with the community as, as a club. Um, you know, and that's, you know, as I say, it starts on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. I think there's a, there's a big role to play. And, and there's, you know, I think, um, lots of potential off the field as well as on it. You've used the, the word there, sorry, role. What do you expect your role to entail? Who knows? Who knows where it will go? I mean, who knows where the, the community trust will, will, will go, really, and how far it can grow? I know Mark Ashton's done great work at previous clubs he's been at yeah. and, and built the community um, to, 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 um, uh, around the football clubs that he's, he's been involved in. So this is, as I say, huge potential and, you know, hopefully... The, the, uh, the community trust will be a big, big part of this football club. You know, I think it's, it's a, a good mix of people on, on the board as well, you know, f from lots of diverse areas. Um, so I think everyone will have a role to play. How big that role is, who, who knows? But um, as I say, I think there's a lot of potential. You've used the word just, just at the end there, potential opportunity, another one. How exciting is that for you, you know, back at your club, seeing that? And how excited can the fans be about this? Well, I think, as I say, I, you know, I, I just get a feeling at the moment that, that this is a place ready to explode. It's, um, it's been 
too long really where it's sort of just treaded water yeah and you know i i want this club to to go that way yeah. i'm sure it can go this that way starts on the pitch as i say if we can get that right the stuff around it will, will look after itself but i just get i just got a feeling at the moment that this is a place ready to explode